What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network. Well, I think by now you, you kind of realize that most of the tools that you need to build a sound money is available in Bitcoin. And then the question is, if you want to be active and if you want to be a developer and actually work with this, what are the best tools for you that, that you can use? Uh, well, this is the next part in our series on Bitcoin only. And today we're talking about the developer tools. Uh, so which... which uh, which products and software you can use in order to help you to better build with Bitcoin, right? Uh, and, and there are a couple really nice, nice services listed here, and let, let's get through them one by one. Uh, well, let's start off with, with uh, shooting Bitcoin out of space, because uh, why not? Uh, the really cool thing with, with uh, the Bitcoin satellite here is, is that uh, it has a very programmable API. Uh, so if you want to go crazy and, and send Bitcoin out of space, uh, well, with the satellite API, uh, you can easily do it. And it's very intuitive, uh, although it still, of course, needs some, <laughs> needs some additional work uh, and some more improvements to come, uh, which is awesome, though. Um, if you want to have a good self-hosted API that uh, on your server that allows you to easily communicate with your Bitcoin full node for all the tasks that you need it to do, then there is probably nothing better than Cypher node. Um, Right, because most Bitcoin projects or many Bitcoin projects nowadays, they use, uh, for example, the uh, blockchain.com uh, API, which is horrible, absolutely horrible. Blockchain.com is a, a bad actor in general. And we saw that with 2x, right? That if, you're, if your app, that your software that you're developing relies on the API of a trusted third party, that is a massive security hole. And so CypherNode allows you uh, to have your self-hosted API for microservices without a trusted third party. And in a way that the, the products that you are going to build uh, are fully in your control and especially the, 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 the underlying consensus is under your control. I mean, if, if you relied on the, the blockchain.com API, then this means that, that pretty, or it, it could have meant uh, that they simply changed to SegWit2x or, or some Bcash, other nonsense. Uh, and then your entire product uh, would switch without your consent because you're, you do not control the API. Uh, so CypherNode, uh, developed uh, upon others by uh, Francis Pouliard, uh, is really awesome and uh, very well deserving uh, your attention. We also have here from, from Peter Todd, the Python Bitcoin library. And Python is a, a very nice programming language, especially for, for those new to programming. Uh, and <laughs> as Vladimir says here, this uh, li library is the Swiss army knife uh, of the Bitcoin protocol. Uh, it really is. It has all the cool stuff uh, that, uh, that you want to have, right? It has a Bitcoin core, it has your keys, has the script, um, it has the script evaluation and verification and serialization. So a lot of the stuff that you want to do uh, with Bitcoin, you can do uh, with this Python uh, library. Uh, so yeah, uh, Peter Todd uh, knows, knows what's up and he knows how, uh, how to provide a valid service uh, for, for other developers. So that's awesome. Um, we also have here the Lightning Hood, and um, I'm not exactly sure what the Lightning Hood here is specifically in this category. Um, it definitely is an awesome, an awesome uh, uh, site, and uh, probably uh, the coolest here, the Developer Spotlight, um, that that uh, shows a couple of cool developments that have been happening in Bitcoin. And there is, uh, for example, here, right, Nix Bitcoin. That's an awesome, awesome project. Reproducible builds uh, for your full node is really cool. Um, and uh, I mean, the, the site is great. Uh, I, I'm just not entirely certain why it's included here specifically in the developer tools, but uh, absolutely uh, ch check out the site. It's very well, and especially here, the resources uh, are incredibly uh, in depth. Uh, so, so that is really nice. Um, we have, especially here for the Lightning Network, uh, we want to have a, uh, a nice interface to have maximum uh, transparency and control, right? If you have, for example, the Zap wallet, it's beautiful, but it's not in depth. Uh, and thus the Write the Lightning Network, uh, Write the Lightning application right here, it has, I think at the moment, roughly 60% of all the API calls uh, that are available in uh, L&D. Uh, so the, the API coverage is, is quite awesome. Uh, as, you, as you can see here, uh, has, as uh, all the stuff that you actually uh, that you actually need, uh, so that is really cool. Um, of course, we also need a lot of guides, a lot of guides, because we have so much to learn. <laughs> and uh, Staticus here uh, has provided a bunch of awesome, 
awesome guides, uh, and including one uh, that is the Raspberry Bolt. It is a guide on how you can set up lightning on a Raspberry Pi. And it's, it's very, very in-depth. Uh, it's super intuitive. And well, it, it, sparked, it sparked actually here the Raspberry Blitz, which is a, uh, a kind of node launcher, so to say, um, that is very much uh, based on the Raspberry Bolt. Uh, can't find the words written in the text, but but yeah, these projects go go hand in hand, and they're absolutely awesome. And again, the Raspberry Pi or Raspberry Blitz Bold is, I would say, at the moment, the Lightning developer toolkit. Uh, there are so many uh, that have hacked together their own Raspberry Blitz in order to to just try it out and hack a bit uh, on this awesome uh, aw on this awesome software. Uh, so very very cool projects and. This is really cool, and I did not cover this in the video about the hardware, but actually this should be added as well. Uh, Thundroid, which is Bitcoin Lightning in a box. However, it is not a Raspberry Pi as this one, but actually it is, uh, when we scroll down here, a Odroid uh, HC2, which is a, a mini PC. Uh, and it is, uh, compared to the Raspberry Pi, um, very much more powerful. So if you compare right here, this is the power of the Raspberry Pi, and this is the power of the HC2, uh, which, which is used here by this. And the price is still fairly cheap. I mean, the Raspberry Pi costs roughly, I think, $35. And now here with this one, $54, $55. I mean, pretty much the same price, right? And you get a lot more power. And so I would say that, uh, that here, this uh, Thundroid, um, is actually a really, really a good alternative uh, for the Raspberry Pi. And maybe even the Raspberry Blitz uh, can, can run in there as well. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I might be. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is another uh, Bitcoin full note that you can hack a bit with uh, and just try out. And right as a developer, you need to have a full note. Like there is no way around it. That just is not. Because <laughs> I mean, if you don't have a full note, what are you developing on? I mean, seriously, come on. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have here um, Pierre Richard's node launcher. And that is really cool. And he's, he's actually helped a lot of uh, devs on board as well. And the cool thing is that it is a it is an easy tool that allows you, I think, only on Windows so far um, to, to start your own node uh, from scratch uh, in the graphical user interface so that you can then uh, build uh, the, the tools that you want to work upon. Uh, so yeah, Pierce, as you know, there are a bunch of different tools that you can use in order to build amazing products and services on top of Bitcoin. And these are just a couple of them. And, and I'm sure there are a bunch, a bunch further to add. And yeah, I, I think it's a great curated list. Uh, and yeah, uh, why not? So Pierce, get to it. Get, get building. Uh, but don't build on XRP and don't build on shitcoins. Why would you? All the tools that you need are in Bitcoin. I mean, it's... It's, it's Bitcoin only. <laughs> it, it really is. So thank you very much for joining me here today and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.